Welcome to Unit 11, Video 2, Concentration. By the end of this video, you should understand the difference between a concentrated and a dilute solution. You should be able to perform calculations using the molarity and the molality equation. You should know what it means to perform a dilution. And you should be able to perform calculations related to dilutions. Concentration is described as the amount of solute in a given amount of solvent or solution. Qualitatively, a solution can be called concentrated if there's a relatively large amount of solute as compared to the amount of solution or solvent. Strong coffee and strong kool are examples. Here, the, the ratio of solute to solvent is very high. A dilute solution, on the other hand, means that there's a relatively small amount of solute dissolved in, in, given the amount of solution. Weak coffee and weak Kool-Aid are examples. Here, the ratio of solute to solvent is very small. You might also know that as your concentration increases, generally the color of the solution will start to get darker and darker as we add more solute. This, of course, is assuming that the solute produces a color in the solution. Not all solutions are colored. Quantitatively speaking, we will be calculating concentrations in two ways. First, and most commonly, we'll use molarity. Molarity is the unit of concentration that refers to the moles of solute as compared to the liters of solution, and it's abbreviated with a large capital M. The equation for molarity is molarity is equal to the moles of solute divided by the liters of solution, or moles equal, uh, molarity equals moles over liters. Let's go through a few molarity calculations together. In the first question, we're asked to determine the molarity of a solution containing 0.5 moles of, solution, of solute in 0.050 liters of solution. I'm going to start by writing my molarity equation, which is molarity equals moles over liters. Here, I have 0.50 moles and I'm dividing that by 0 0.050 liters. Do the math, and I get 10 molar. This is a relatively concentrated solution. This is a large value for concentration. In the second example, we're asked to find the molarity of a solution with 5 grams of solute in 0 0.050 liters of solution. This problem is different because first we have to convert 5 grams to moles. As you know, to convert to moles we divide by the molar mass, which for barium chloride is 208, and we find that we have 0 0.024 moles of, solute, of solute. Now, using our molarity equation, we can divide 0.24 0.024 moles of solution by 0 0.050 liters, and we get a molarity of 0.48 molar, a relatively dilute solution. Here's some examples to try on your own. Pause the video here and try these. When you come back, I'll display the answers. Welcome back. Here's what you should have gotten. The final answer is in bold. Turning now to molality, notice I've highlighted the L here. This can get a little confusing because molarity and molality sound very similar. So you have to be really careful about which one you're talking about. Molality, which is abbreviated with a lowercase cursive m, is a unit of concentration that compares moles of solute to kilograms of solvent. You might think about why we would need to use kilograms of solvent instead of liters of, so of solution. You actually get a different answer if you use kilograms versus liters, which should be pretty obvious. Here our equation is molality equals moles of solute divided by kilograms of solvent, or moles divided by kilograms. It's important to note that molality looks at kilograms of solvent, whereas molarity looks at liters of solution. This is an important difference. Let's do an example together. Here we're asked to determine the molality of 18 grams of sugar dissolved in one kilogram of water. First, I have to convert 18 grams of sucrose to moles, so I'm going to divide by the molar mass, and I get 0 
mole, moles of, sucre, of sugar. Now, using my molality equation, I can divide 0.1 moles divided by 1.00 kilograms, and I get a molality of 0 0.10, which again we abbreviate with a lowercase cursive m. Dilution is another important concept related to concentration. A dilution is the process of adding of, of water to a stock solution or a solution you have already made to produce a solution of a different molarity. A stock solution is a more concentrated solution. This is generally how it comes from the store or uh, the solution you've already made that you need to dilute. When this happens, the number of moles of solute does not change since we're only adding solvent, we're only adding water. So moles remain constant. However, the volume of the solution will change. If we're adding water to the solution, the volume will increase. And since we're increasing the volume without changing the number of moles, our molarity will decrease. A useful equation for calculating dilutions is M1V1 equals M2V2. Here, M1 stands for the molarity of the original solution, V1 is the volume of the original solution you need to use. M2 is the molarity of the new solution, the one you want after the dilution. And V2 is the volume you want after the dilution. Usually it's V1 that we end up solving for in these kinds of problems, and we'll see why in a second. Here's an example for us to try together. We're asked to calculate the volume of 0.2 molar NaCl needed to make 500 milliliters of 0.05 NaCl. I'm going to start by writing my equation, M1 times V1 equals M2 times V2. And I see from the problem that my molarity of my original solution is 0 0.20 molar. My volume of my original solution is my unknown. I don't know how much of that solution I need to use in my dilution. So V1 is my x. The molarity of the solution I want is 0.05 molar, and I want to make 500 milliliters. Notice, unlike uh, molarity calculations, which have to be done in liters, this calculation, it doesn't matter. As long as you're in the same unit on both sides of the equation, you can use liters or milliliters. So I'm going to use milliliters, and that means my answer will end up being in milliliters. When I do the math, I find that the volume of my 0.2 molar solution that I need to use is 125 milliliters. Here's some to try on your own. Pause the video here, and when you come back, I'll display the answers. Welcome back. Here's what you should have gotten. That brings us to the end of this video. Let's review our goals. First, we looked at the difference between qualitative descriptions, concentrated and dilute, then we looked at quantitative descriptions of concentration, molarity and molality, and practiced using, performing calculations using each of these concepts. Then we looked at what it means to perform a dilution, to add water, to decrease the molarity or molality of a solution. And then we performed calculations related to dilution using M1V1 equals M2V2.